Hello, my name is Adam Gibson, and welcome to our tutorial on how to make animations inside of Photoshop. So, before we get started, um, just a couple things. Um, usually, most people use Photoshop for um, editing, you know, photos and stills, um, while other people use it for, you know, making graphics and things for their website, and and it could be anything, magazines. Um, so on and so forth. There's there's tons of uses for Photoshop, um, but uh, one thing that most people generally don't use Photoshop for is making animations. So for those of you who've never uh, made an animation in Photoshop, this is the video for you. Or if you want to make, uh, like I said, some some quicky little basic animations for your website, um, so on and so forth. So we're going to do a, a real basic one here just to give you uh, an understanding of how this works and it's actually very it's a lot simpler than you think um, basically what we're gonna do is first thing we're gonna open up our animation window so just go under where it says window and click on animation down here you'll see a uh, uh, a new menu that says animation frames and it has a typical uh, VCR style player that you'd see in a lot of animation programs. Okay, now let's click on new and let's make a 400 by 400 pixel image. Okay, and let's make our background. Oh, Let's make it, sorry, let's just leave it for white for now. And I'm just going to grab my fill brush here and just fill it in as black. Okay, so what I want to do is take a very simple object and make a very simple animation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a layer. Okay, so we have our background layer is black, and you can pick whatever, make whatever type of layer that you want. Um, we're just going to keep it simple for today. And I'm going to grab my circle or my elliptical marquee tool here, and I'm going to make a ball. Okay, and let's change our fill color to white. Now keep in mind this is in a separate background here. Okay. Control D, deselect. Okay. So now we have some stuff down here that we can play with. Now we actually have an object that we can animate here. Okay. So we're going to start at the top. And what we want to do is make this ball go down towards this corner. Very simple animation. Now, those of you who don't know, know, do not know much about animating, um, in the computer-generated world, what happens is, is that we make key, with something called keyframes. Uh, a keyframe is an important position in time where it could be a character, it could be an object, and it's either posed or placed in a certain position. And each keyframe generally has a new position. So let's pretend this is the first keyframe right here and then the next keyframe will be down here. The thing is in order to uh, simulate movement uh, we have to do something called tweening and that's what the computer does. It figures out the frames in between that will create this animation from the ball going from here to here. Okay so very simply what we need to do is if you go down here um, it says duplicate selected frame. Select that. So click on this. Okay. And so now we're on the second frame. Now we want this to be our second keyframe. So let's pull this down here. Now, if you look, you can see that in this little corner object, it might be hard for you to see, but the ball is in the first frame, it's up in the corner. The second frame, it's in the bottom corner. So top left hand corner. So if I click on this, notice it jumps back. So I click the second frame, it's down here. Well, you're saying, well, that's not, that doesn't look very good. You know, like it's just going click, click, 
click. And if I press play, see, look, it just kind of strobes, and that doesn't look very fun. So what we need is some tweener frames that go in between to actually simulate motion. So with the second frame selected, um, if you look right here, uh, there's these, it says tweens, tweens animation frames, okay? Click on that, and you can add however many amount of frames as you want. Notice here there are five. Now, see how fast it's playing? Okay. Um, normally, it wouldn't play that fast um, if you were playing this back on the internet. It's because it has the ability to play it back that fast because it's a really um, low amount of memory that this animation is, is taking. Okay. So let's just stop that. So if you want to undo something, you can just go step backwards. Now, once again, let's uh, let's make more frames. So once again, the, that tweener, see it says tween, um, tween with previous frame. We're going to leave it at the default setting. And let's make, say, 15. Okay. And see how it makes 15 tweener frames, because it says 17. So 17 plus, oh, sorry, we had two frames, but plus 15 is now 17. Let's press play and you can see that it's animated. Hopefully you can see it on your screen here. Okay, so let's uh, let's press stop. Like I said, these are little VCR, VCR controls and you can tween through these one frame at a time with the, uh, the frame buttons. Um, this button right here makes it go to the start of the animation. Okay. And we also have deletes selected frames, so you can actually delete frames with this little garbage can button as well. So you could select a group of frames or one frame and then say select the guard and it says delete frame yes or no. Let's just click no in this particular instance. Okay, so you can, like I said, you can click through these one by one and go to that specific frame if you want as well, and you can actually change it. So basically, this animation is taking place inside of this layer here, and then it has that black background layer. Okay, so we have that animated. So we have our animation. Um, so now all there is to do is to, well, what do you do with it? How do you export it? Well, you could export it out to, say, for example, a, a, a video file. And believe it or not, Photoshop can actually export out to a video file. We can actually, uh, we can actually export this out as a QuickTime file, and we can also export this out to an animated GIF for use on the on a, on a website. So let's uh, do the the simplest one. Let's go to File, and let's go Export, and let's go to Render Video. Uh, so this is our export. Uh, file requester here we can send to we can give it a name and we can call this um, you see it says dot move okay so file options there are a few different uh, file options you can pick but uh, let's stay with uh, QuickTime and we'll do a, an H2 H.264 uh, codec okay so let's call this ball move and 24 bits that's fine we can change the document size of how how many pixels it is this is at the default setting because this is how big we made our image it's 400 by 400 so let's leave that you can also create a subfolder if you want for it um, we can select the folder. I have this in my free tutorial section on Photoshop, how to animate in Photoshop. And all we have to do is just click render. Okay, and it's done. Let's go to our folder here and double click. And our media player is playing our file. Right. So that's pretty neat. It might be a little bit stroby on your screen, but uh, it's fairly smooth on mine. Um, 
So you can see here rate 30 frames per second, uh, the size, the, uh, the, the frame width and the frame height in pixels. Um, it doesn't seem to give a length because I think this is in seconds and I think this is uh, shorter than one second, so that's why it's not showing up. Uh, size 7.14 kilobytes, so it's very small. Okay. Oops. We can make it bigger. And there's our animation. Okay. And kids, there's more. And let's go back to Photoshop. Now, what if we want to say um, export this out to um, to a website? Okay. Now, this might be actually boring, you know, just a ball going like this. But uh, you could do this with your company logo uh, or or certain types of graphics, uh, just to spice things up a little bit and make your website a little bit uh, a little bit fancier, and just with some basic text. So let's uh, let's go file. Let's go save as. So we want to export to render out uh, a QuickTime file. Okay. So and if you want to do it for the internet, um, see how it says save as, and there's GIF here. Where are we here? There's CompuServe GIF here, but we're not going to use that because that's not going to work for us. Okay, what we need to do is go to save for web and devices, and we're going to save out the GIF there. See how this whole brand new menu pops up? Okay, um, this is for saving stuff for, you know, like I said, if we were creating this animation for our website. And look, we have our cool little VCR, um, VC, our VCR style playback stuff. Notice how fast this is going. Um, this probably is not going to go that fast when we um, when we place this uh, into a GIF file when you play it back on an internet browser. So notice here it says GIF, okay, and there are other file formats, but we're going to go with GIF because that's pretty common for uh, for a web animation or for a website. Uh, go down here and you'll see a preview. And oh, also we can select whether we want our animation to loop. See, it says looping options forever or once. We're going to leave it on forever so that it'll continually play back. And if we go to preview, see how we got a nice little, little preview that shows up. So that's kind of cool. And notice it shows up in our Windows Internet browser, Windows Internet Explorer browser here. Okay, so we got to see what it plays back like, and all we got to do now is go save and how to animate Photoshop. So we're in the correct, uh, so you just click save and it'll open up your browser how to animate in Photoshop. And I'm going to give it another name, I'm going to call it Ball Move, oops, Ball Move. GIF and let's click save. Okay, so it's all saved out pretty quick. Now because this is a really basic animation, um, this won't take as long to render out. If it was more complex, it probably would have taken longer. So look, we have our ball move GIF and let's uh, let's double click on it and it opened up in our internet browser but it's playing directly off of our hard drive. So in order to play a, a, a GIF on your computer, you don't necessarily have to have it uploaded to your, uh, sorry, you don't have to necessarily have it loaded to a website. Um, theoretically, you should be able to email this to someone as well and just play it back. Okay, so that's our little ball. So that's what it would look like playing back on the internet. So that's pretty neat. Like I said, you can do this with uh, logos and text and so on and so forth. Um, let's see. Let's go back in here, and I just want to uh, just 
just want to talk about something here. Um, so let's go to this one. Let's make an extra frame. And okay. And let's move that up. Okay. And let's go tween frames. Let's put another, okay, we can put another 15. Now notice it says position, opacity, and effects. So we can actually um, we can actually do more than just change the position of it. We can also change the opacity. So let's click OK and see how it made another 15 frames. Now the only problem is I wanted to fade this out as it went to the top. So let's go undo and I want to change the opacity to almost fade it out. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my tweener button and uh, make sure these are checked. Okay. And we are adding 15 frames. Okay. Now you can see the animation over time. Oops. Starts off and it starts to, we'll add the, we'll use the frame advance button. You can see it starts to fade out. Okay, so very quickly I go to, uh, let's make a quick, uh, sorry, save for web device, and we go to preview. Okay, see how it bounces down and goes and fades up. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. And you can export everything out the exact same way as I showed. Okay, so uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, free tutorial on how to animate in uh, Photoshop. And you can do the same kind of thing. Uh, this is uh, Photoshop uh, CS4. Um, you can do the same kind of stuff in some of the lower versions of uh, Photoshop as well. Okay, so don't let anyone tell you that you cannot animate in Photoshop because you can. Okay, so until next time, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3DSoftware.com.